Hi, I'm Jeff from Sussex Installations. Today's video is about full customs getting broken into, and this seems to be like a trend of actual, um, of all vans really, like getting more brutally attacked. It seems that way. So what we've got here is we've got a full custom van that's been attacked where they've basically, customer is a brand new 20, 2022 van. Um, customer did have the deadlocks fitted to it, and the next day, thief come along they poked a hole in the in the door like we've been seeing on so many of these vans recently and they've got the door open a bit and they have uh, attacked the deadlock so basically the deadlocks are really really useful to have as an extra layer of security but we don't really want to rely on them as like your full security we want to have it so that if we try and keep your van your manufacturer's lock locked so this, this latch is like your latch that holds the door, the factory latch that holds your door closed um, here. And when the door closes, it closes and it locks into this. And the locking mechanism of the van, like when you press your remote control, is all basically controlling the part inside the door here. So that's great if we can keep that in the locked position. And it seems like like with a Ford, it is actually quite good locking in terms of it is like a double dead locking uh, off the remote control, which means like the doors on the inside uh, of, the, of the van are all redundant. They won't open up the door. So it's not like we're having to protect all the cables going up to the front of the door here. But what we do need to protect is this latch. And the Ford, they do have the security shield, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't cover enough of the latch, basically. There's, a, there's like, it's like the Achilles heel to the security system. The Achilles heel used to be the driver's door barrel, which unlocked the whole of the van. But since um, Ford did their security software update 2018, um, the problem moved to the, the people attaching the latches directly. And this seems to be happening on all makes and model vans at the moment. So it is a nightmare. If we can stop the person by putting in a shield inside your van, that if they just poke a hole through the bodywork and they don't manage to get your van open, that's the most ideal security solution for us. So like a shield inside of the door, like this being inside of your door, you don't notice any different, but we try and encourage every one of our customers, if we have these shields available, and we do for the full custom, have had for some time, to have these fitted inside their door in addition to having the deadlock. So not just putting deadlocks on the van, but combination of protect the manufacturer's weak point. Some van models, the manufacturer's weak point, they, you see there's a video on our channel from, from a few years ago where, where the guy actually unlocks the whole van with his bare hands. But the weak point on this van, as it stands, side load door and barn door is the latch mechanism. People attacking them. So making a hole through the bodywork and then, um, I'm not showing exactly how they're getting into the van, but they're making a hole through the bodywork, they're attaching, attacking the latch and they're getting in the van. So having a shield inside your van is really important. If we can stop a thief um, at that point, if they just poke a hole through and they don't manage to get the van standard locking unlocked, then really there's no point in them having an attack of your deadlock. Like, you know, unless they're really silly or, like, or just an absolute brute, which I guess obviously some of them are, there's no point in them having a go at a deadlock and attacking a deadlock if they haven't got past the manufacturer's lock. So if we can stop them at this point, and you've just got a hole in your bodywork, but your van didn't get broken into, and they didn't attack your deadlock. That's the that's the ideal thing. And we've got a solution for that. We can fit an external repair shield. So that's our external shield. That will cover up that damage. Some people have these fitted straight away in addition to the internal shields as a, a preventative. But if you have got the, the hole there, you can put that over the top, and that's a good repair solution. Like that's not a big hassle. Then if you don't have that or if people do get past the manufacturer's lock-in and the door gets open i mean at that point your door if you've got deadlocks on your van your door's got to open up a tiny little bit like a small amount a couple of millimeters and that's the point where it stops at some point at that point then a lot of these will walk away because they can't get in your van because the deadlocks are there but then there might be some who are tempted to attack the deadlocks and have a go at the van and what that does is that's creating like damage to your van which is which is a real hassle in this case there's a small bit of damage on the body here but there is obviously a whacking great big hole on the door there. so we're not miracle workers we can't you know we can't fix this whole thing here 
and in here and on the bodywork of the van because we're not a body shop you know you can go to a body shop you can get a new door or get the, the door repaired get the, the filler in the door but what we are going to do for this uh, customer is something which we've done for a couple of customers recently where we have fitted like a large escutcheon type of repair shield so a shield that's gone on over the bodywork covering up over the deadlock and covering over the damage of the van and I guess also like with this customer you're thinking yeah actually he would he would kind of like that to make it more secure like around the deadlock you know to help to secure the deadlock to have a shield on on here for a full custom i guess he's probably not going to be the only full custom owner um, that's going to want an attack shield for the deadlock for the barn door or the side load door so like we like to offer development um we like to do development for current important model vans such as this full custom where we have many customers that own these so this is really important to us to, to do something and if this is a development for the future what we'll do is we will put the effort in we will make something for this customer but we will also have it like just to charge him the you know a, a price just for the shield the value of the shield we're, we're not going to charge like the development cost which really can be hundreds or even thousands of pounds in, uh, in time and materials in doing this type of job um, because we're not about charging one person like a fortune for development but if it is something that's going to benefit the rest of you guys over the next sort of like 10 15 years then um, then we will try and put the effort in and do it where we can so, so we've got the machinery here i've got my brew we're ready to get on this and um, get developing so let's see what we can do for this for this owner of this full custom here today We're kind of up against it today, really. We're, um, we've got our shield holes in position. We've done a test fit. We haven't put the real shield. We haven't made the real shield. I'm about to cut that out in a minute. Cut out like the damage. So we're looking to do something with that too. Um, I did manage to draw something to, uh, to cover that up, an extra like a four in for a lock case. I've got that just there. Come off the laser now, so that's that's the fore end of the lock case a replacement one which has an extra piece of meat over on the left hand side to cover up a lot of that damage now we've got a real brush stainless steel uh, shield which is ready to go. We just need to attach the studs to the back of it and then we'll be ready to bolt that up into place. Yeah, go, you're close, a little bit more. So here we go, hopefully we're getting somewhere now. This is the um, barn door excursion repair that's going on on the laser now cutting. Flip it around, I'll show you that. This should all be in the right place for the barrel cut out. It's, this is the brushed stainless steel finish. I've just got to put the studs onto it. We've got a jig ready. We've got the holes in the van ready to go. I did go over one millimeter from, from where I had our test one because it was like a tiny bit out. It didn't quite go flush with the edge. So this one should be perfect. So let's get these studs on here now and let's get this on the van because it's nearly at the end of the day. The day's just flown by today. Time flies when you're having fun, as they say. You dropped the washer. No, I didn't. You dropped the washer. We didn't touch the clay. You picked it up? Someone dropped the washer. Yeah, so I'm always cleaning up after. Reveal, the reveal, Danny, hey? I'm doing it because Matthew's around, so... <laughs> what? There you go. Look, the other day we left the corner up ready for the reveal later on. Of course, he walked past and saw it. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Pulled it off for us, Matt. Well, I, and then I did tell him, he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> 
Okay, so we have finished. That's it, job done. We have this van repaired as much as we can. Obviously not body shop repair, but we have covered over this main damage on the exterior of the van. We have managed to do something with the big gaping hole that was inside the door there as well by fitting a large fore end, which I did design today for this. We fitted our external shield on the side load door. We fitted our internal shield inside the side load door, protecting that latch mechanism in there. The barn door, we've done another escutcheon security uh, shield. Customer said he would like one on that back door too. So we have done one and I got the feeling that he's not gonna be the last Ford custom owner with a deadlock attack, unfortunately. The barn door, external shield. We fitted the barn door, internal shield, which is inside of there. We have also fitted our PIR, which integrates into the factory fitted alarm. Even if someone was to cut a hole through the roof or get into this van in any way, like a high level of destruction type of attack, then the alarm will go off. Because as standard, the factory, the Ford alarms, they only got the switch low down on the door down here. So they don't go off if, um, if there's like a, an entry into the, a forced entry like through the roof. We've also fitted a high position switch at the top here. So if someone was to start like a door folding attack, then we get an early indication of that. The alarm will go off. If they were to start to pull the door out a few millimeters, then that high position switch is gonna set the factory alarm off. We fitted the peel and steel bracket here, which goes on the front edge of the door, again, to try to help prevent against that peel and steel type of attack. And then the overdue port protector So if you're looking for um, deadlock repair, if you're looking for security for your Ford custom van or any other van, get in touch via the website. It's www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. Thanks for watching.